Congress is moving quickly to respond to the Paris terror attack. The House of Representatives will vote on a bill tomorrow that would temporarily halt President Obama's acceptance of Syrian refugees until they are properly vetted by the proper authorities. And breaking news right before the show, President Obama, he vows to veto this bill. The main author of the bill, Representative Richard Hudson, joins me now. Uh, Representative Hudson, we've got to ask you right off the bat, uh, obviously President Obama feeling the heat, feeling the pressure, comes out to say he will veto the bill. I guess it's also a form of intimidation. What are your thoughts? Well, it's disappointing, Charles, uh, but to tell you the truth, I can't think of a single bill we've brought to the House floor uh, that the president hasn't issued a veto threat on. So my hope is if we can show strong support in the House, if we can get some reasonable Democrat senators like Chuck Schumer and Dick Durbin and others who've expressed concern about this program, uh, maybe the president will reconsider. You've had the, uh, them express concern. You've had uh, uh, well-known Democrats like Feinstein uh, uh, talking about uh, our lax uh, situation with respect to foreign policy and the, cru how crucial this issue is. You must have done some form of internal polling and formal polling. How do you how do you think you stand right now in terms of not only getting this passed, but even would it be a pipe dream to have a veto proof? Well, I'm not sure we're at a veto proof point now, Charles. I've, I've worked very hard with Democrats this week. Some leaders uh, like Benny Thompson and Zoe Lofkin and others who are pretty reasonable when it comes to uh, these issues. Uh, we got really close, uh, but but we're, we don't have a commitment from them. And I think the words come down from Nancy Pelosi that they're, they're not going to vote with us. But I'll tell you, I've gotten a lot of individual Democrats who've told me they're with us. So, you know, my hope is we can get a number of Democrats who are hearing the same thing from their constituents that I hear from my folks back home in North Carolina. Uh, that the American people want to stop this process uh, until we feel comfortable with the vetting. And to your point, there have been a, a couple of polls out here in the last 24, 48 hours that have shown an amazing swing of the pendulum. Now a majority of Americans are saying exactly what your constituents are saying. Hey, this is not the right time. They don't feel safe. They don't feel comfortable. And it's only smart in their minds to hold this back. Now, the question is, of course, we've seen a lot of Democrats lose their career over backing things like Obamacare. Maybe that's where you get these guys. Do you give up your career over something like this? Absolutely. And, and to vote against my bill tomorrow, uh, tomorrow, a very reasonable piece of legislation, is saying you support the status quo. And, you know, I, I'd hate to have to go home and explain to my constituents why I support the status quo. Uh, Representative Hudson, give us an idea, because now they're saying, listen, they're vetted uh, through certain agencies like the FBI, Department of Defense. Uh, there's biometric fingerprinting and then there's interviews. What else should be added? What other layers should be added to that that we will feel safer as a nation? Well, the key point here is this is not Richard Hudson saying there's a problem. The FBI director said there's a problem. Uh, Obama's own secretary of Homeland Security said there's a problem. Uh, well, and what they said is we can't do background checks on most of these folks because when you know you do a background check, you go interview your neighbors, you go talk to former employers, you know, you go talk to your fourth grade piano teacher, uh, but you can't go to Syria and knock on the door uh, when the whole block's been blown up. You can't go to the business that's been closed to find out about the former employee. Uh, the problem is, as the FBI director said, we can't vet these folks properly, and uh, and and that's that's why there's the red flag. It's not me saying it. It's the president. Its own administration. Well, you know, I, I got to tell you, let's hope this is the one time that the president puts politics aside and listens to the voice of the American public because they are speaking loud and clear. And I think a lot of people are thanking you for this vote tomorrow. We'll hopefully catch up with you tomorrow and have good news. I'd love to, Charles. Thank you. And uh, I would just tell your listeners light up the White House switchboard, let the president know where you stand on this. Believe me, they will. Thank you very much, Representative Hudson.